you here in the kitchen. Today we went to the farmer's market. I just lotioned up my face and got lotion in my beard. <laughs> we went to the farmer's market. Leah's over there like, oh. <laughs> you don't want to come say hi, baby? I guess I'll say hi. Anyway, today we went to the farmer's market and got all kinds of cool stuff. Say hi to the lovely Leah. She hasn't been in the video for a while, but anyway, I got some interesting eggs, okay? Tonight I'm gonna cook a goose egg. Look at the size of this thing, man. It's gonna be pretty interesting. I didn't know, like they were in bags. They had duck eggs, regular chicken eggs, went to the Las Vegas farm, and goose eggs. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna cook it on video. So today is uh, my cheat day, I guess, for my diet. Even though eggs aren't like that bad, I'm gonna use butter with it. I normally don't cook anything with butter, but since I'm having a cheat day today, I'm gonna cook this egg in butter. I'm curious. Leah doesn't think it's a big deal. She's like, it's just a regular egg. <laughs> Duck eggs are good. Never had a goose egg. Well, here, look, hold on, let me show you. We got, hang on, let me pull them out of the fridge here. So this row here is all duck eggs. These are all ducks in the front row here. The back are all regular chicken eggs that we got there, but these are duck eggs. But I wanted to go ahead, I only got a single goose egg. I didn't know anything about it. It was in a little bag and it said goose on it. And it was in such a small bag, I was like, man, are, they're just, are they really tiny or something? I pulled it out, it was one egg. I'm like, oh, whoa, whoa, that's big. <laughs> so let's see, I wanna make sure the, the butter is all smeared around the pan here, hang on. Do, 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 do. I'm scared I'm gonna drop this thing. <laughs> I don't want that spatula. Where's the good one? Here. No, that's not it. Here we go. I'll use this spatula. We got like three of them. So, let's go ahead and. Uh... Oh, it's tough. Ah, it's tough. It don't want to crack like a regular egg. Okay, how about a butter knife, maybe? There we go. Okay, it's cracking now. This thing is enormous. Have you eaten a goose egg, baby? I don't remember. I think I have. It's like a normal egg. The shell is getting all over the place, though. It does not look like a normal egg. This thing is huge. Whoa, look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that yolk. That is massive. That is enormous. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh man, it's yeah. messy. It's messy. Holy shit. Ooh. That's like a that's like a pancake egg right there. Oh my god. Wow. So I was gonna I don't know if if I should cook it over easy. That's what I was gonna try to do. Yeah, you're gonna have to like, flipping it's gonna be um, interesting. You think I got the heat set good? Yeah, you wanna have it like, kind of a high heat. What should I season it with, seasoned salt? Ew. Or just regu regular salt and pepper? Salt and pepper, it's an egg. Or I always do like sometimes garlic salt. Now I'll just do regular old salt and pepper. Okay. Pancake egg. Pancake eggs. Okay, cooking with Rich. See, I'm I like weird stuff. That's why I like her. Come say hi. She's not been <laughs> she hasn't she hasn't been in the videos very much lately. That's because he records them at like 5 a.m. Well I'm asleep. <laughs> yeah, but still sometimes you're like, I don't want to chat. I know. She's been getting more camera shy here lately. 
She's oh. she's spiritually awakening and she's going into hermit mode, right? Oh my gosh, I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah. See? It's all good though. Hermit. Let's see here. Should I try to flip this thing now? Let me do it. Wow. I don't think it's ready yet. You don't think it's ready? Let me see. It's still well yeah, maybe. Oh. <laughs> ready? Yeah. Whoa. This thing looks like it's probably like the equivalent of like Jesus. <laughs> like five that chicken. Shell? Yeah, it's shell. The shell went all over the place. Oh, okay. oh well this keep it over there. Oops. Wow, that thing is huge. Okay. Can everybody even see? Yeah, you probably can't even tell how big it is on camera. Nice. Oh, thanks. I'm a professional food flipper. <laughs> I've like mastered like making omelets and that's where I learned my flipping skills. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous. <laughs> people, I posted on Facebook and people are like, uh, one of my friends from, from like way back in the day, said uh, duck eggs are like really rich and really, you know, they, they apparently there's a real strong taste to them. You said you didn't like them, right? No, uh, that was a duck egg. That that's I what had. I'm talking about, duck eggs. Oh, yeah. They, it tasted funky. I don't, I don't remember exactly what it was that it tasted like, but I just remember it was like really odd. Yeah. Anyway, let's see. It should be done. All right. Just go, don't do that. I would just go like this. Ow, this is heavy. Oh, I have like no strength in my, my wrist. All right, are we so. ready for the oh, test of God. faith? Let's see how, how white it is. Ooh, it's really hot. Mm. Make the uh, yolk come out and you need some toast. That's what you need. Very interesting. Take a bite of the white. It's very, very gamey. What's a gamey? I mean, just taste it and you'll see. Gamey? I've never heard of that word. Yeah, gaming. Like if you eat like wild, like deer or anything like that, and it has this interesting flavor to it. Hmm. Can I poke it? Yeah. Yeah, I can't eat the egg without the yolk. It's all about the yolk. Well, I just wanted to see what the white tasted like. Weird stuff, y'all. I love that weird stuff. You know what? I think I want to do one of them duck eggs right now, too. I'll do the small one. I'll do this little baby blue one. Hmm. I think I know. You said that you think that duck eggs were green. Well, here's one that's kind of blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like that. I think, I think I'm going to... Here, try, try this. I'm gonna try a duck egg too. Ooh, and I'm gonna have some of, we also got, uh, Here, you we also got uh, like jelly and stuff. It's interesting. Oh wow, very interesting, yes. Yes, very interesting. And I'm gonna try the, wow, very interesting. I got um, apple herb jelly. It's like homemade from a farmer's market. The wine that is bomb, I already had earlier. Yeah, that's... This one right here is really good. The spiced... Spiced pear butter. OMG, it's so good. I made some toast and I put it on there and it was delicious. I'm not, like, sure, like, what else you could put it on. Because it's, like, really... I thought it would be, like, more like a jelly but it's like more like creamy. See watch, see how it could like, it just moves around like that. It's kind of strange, but it's like so yummy. Excuse me. It tastes kind of like applesauce, but like pear sauce. It's amazing. You want a piece of toast, bro? No, I already got one earlier. I want to try my apple, apple herb jelly. I just like stuff like this, and it's... Oh, ooh. see, that one is more jelly-ish than mine. Like well, yours butter. is like butter. Yeah. You know what apple butter is, right? 
No. It's just, I don't know how they make it exactly, but it's just like ground up, ground up apples and butter. So mine's actually jelly. Yours is like apple butter, only it's made with pears. What is that? Apple herb jelly. Oh, apple. Apple herb jelly. You have pear mm. butter. <clears throat> that one's like an odd flavor. <laughs> it kind of caught me off guard. <coughs> mm, the white looks very interesting. The white part. This, this is an interesting video, isn't it? In Rich's kitchen. Oh my God, I got bread in my throat. <laughs> mm. This is apple herb jelly. Well, if I'm gonna have a cheat day, I would rather it be interesting food. Even though this isn't really cheap food. Eggs are like part of my diet, but bread's not. And jelly's Look definitely how, not. Look like, transparent that uh, yolk looks, or not the yolk, but the... Yeah, the white, yeah. It's kind of almost clear looking. The egg whites. Yeah, it's like clear, it's like see-through. This jelly is very, very interesting. Yeah, to be honest, I'm not really a fan. Really? Of that one, it's kind of like, I don't know. Well, I got another piece of toast here. You wanna, wanna try, what, what else do you have over? Plum. Plum jelly. Plum, 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 plum. That's so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this lighting in here. It's like. Yeah, we got incredibly bright lights. Kind of interrogating. And we got plum. Here. Let me spread the plum on here. I need the knife. This one's probably gonna be like regular jam. Ooh. With what? peanut butter. Ooh. Girl. <laughs> Is it good? Mm-hmm. It tastes just like regular jelly. But good. Way better. Plum jelly. And we also got. Yeah, that one's really good. Raw honey. God, I have raw honey, dude. You can kill it. I, I don't want it. I want to see what's up with this duck egg. Everybody's talking about the flavor of duck eggs. I don't want it. I already had a piece of toast earlier. Ooh, weird. Hmm. What's it taste like? Well, so far. Transparent. The texture's different, but the taste is really isn't all that different, I don't think. Is it the same? It tastes like a chicken egg to me. Someone wants to know if you're allowed honey on your diet. I'm, the, uh, I'm all the honey he needs. Kidding. I haven't asked him, but this is uh, much for more for medicinal purposes than anything. Raw garlic and honey. We haven't been sick this year at all. We got sick last year, but just in case we happen to get sick, anytime we get sick, we um, eat raw garlic and and drink straight raw Oops. lemon juice and uh, honey, and it kicks the shit out of any illness. But we haven't been sick so far this year at all, so. Yeah. Which is weird. I usually get sick once a year, and this year, not at all. Me so. too. But if you think about it, we got sick last year at this time right now. Oh. Well, let's not jinx it. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Don't say nothing. Yeah, yeah, but you've been eating garlic like a... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't even know. Like crazy. Mm, man. That goose egg. Holy crap. That would probably be good on like a burger. You know? Yeah. Mmm. Like a goose egg. Like what if you had a goose burger with an over easy egg <laughs> on it and it could be like the goosey burger. <laughs> <laughs> mm. That would be interesting, I think. Well, I'm, I always love trying anything different and weird. So, at first I thought it was duck meat because it was just a fridge. They had a refrigerator there with all these bags. He's like, 
these paper bags, and one of them said duck, and one of them said goose. So I thought it was so duck. So you went duck, duck, goose, duck, <laughs> duck, goose. No, I'm just yeah, I thought it was duck meat and goose meat, but it wasn't. It turned out to be eggs. So it's like, man, I don't care. I gotta, gotta try that. I can't pass it up. That's my cleaning towel. Have you cleaned anything with it yet? No, it's okay. just really stained from cleaning. Oh, anywho, anywho, mulberry preserves. That sounds interesting. Hmm. Anyway, though, this wasn't. Uh, wasn't intended to be a big long chat. I don't know if we're gonna sit on here and chat all night, but I definitely wanted to get um, the the cooking the goose egg on camera. <laughs> so cool, man! Totally cool. And this honey is very interesting too. I had a couple of uh, bites of this. Very very flavorful. Very sweet. I don't know if I'm allowed to have honey on my diet or not. I haven't asked. Probably. I would imagine probably not, just because it is so packed with sugar. And that's one thing that even my, my protein shakes, hold on, let me, I'll show you. This is, oh, this is part of my diet as well. And even this is sugar free. Like when Coach Drew was telling me when he wrote my diet out, he said, go get, go to get clean at this store called Vegas Discount Nutrition. He said, get the cleanest protein you can find. No sugars, no nothing, just straight protein. So having said that, I would imagine, and, and I, even, I even gotta be careful with my fruit intake. I, I can have fruit, it's not that I can't have fruit, but I can't like overindulge in it because again, it's like really packed with sugar. But yeah, I probably can't have honey, I would imagine not. Oh, baby, I did ask him if cinnamon's okay. He said cinnamon's just fine. I can have as much cinnamon as I want. Okay. So when I, make, when I make my oatmeal in the morning, I put cinnamon in it. So <laughs> high glycemic index. Oh, okay. Yeah, my diet's pretty simple. It's very low carb. I have carbs on my training days. I have rice. I have a total of one cup of rice for the whole day. And um, on... My non-training days, I can have uh, a sweet potato. Like one whole, if it's a good size sweet potato, like a good one, I cut it up into quarters and split that up throughout my meals. And uh, if they're small sweet potatoes, I can have two. But that's my carb source. So it's a pretty simple diet. Simple, super clean, no sugars. Um, like I said, I normally don't cook with butter. I use this, olive and olive olive and avocado blend or just like he said extra virgin olive oil but yeah very very simple diet and it's working i've shed a lot of weight and i'm still shedding a lot of weight you know i still still got some pounds to shed but it's dropping 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 consistently you know so and putting on muscle which is good yeah sweet potatoes are good man i love them leah found this really 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 super good way that i had to double check and make sure that it was okay for me to eat it because it tastes so good. It's almost like, you know, whenever something tastes really good, you think, man, this has got to be bad for me. But she uh, cuts them up into little fries, like little sweet potato fries, and takes a little bit of that avocado olive oil and coats it and then seasons them with, with like what, garlic powder? Um, I it's don't like, remember. It's Salt, like, pepper, and then the... Oh man, what do I use? It's like salt, pepper, and garlic. Oh, oh, salt, pepper, and then the flavor god. Oh yeah, we got flavor god. Where is it? The flavor god has some interesting stuff. He's this dude. Pretty yeah, sure he's. Very strong. Like you can't just use this. Like I feel like you have to use something else. And then this, like the f garlic lovers. Yeah. And it's really good. He's got like a really big Instagram page and he makes his own seasonings. Yeah, there's chocolate donut. Chocolate donut, yeah, flavoring with no sugar and no, yeah, it's all healthy stuff. Yeah, is zero calories, zero fat, zero uh, sodium, zero all kinds of stuff. And then we have this one too. Go ahead. The pizza flavor. Pizza flavored, yeah. So, but anyway, she, she cuts the sweet potatoes up into these little fries and seasons them with um, with that garlic stuff, salt and pepper. And oh, it's good. Oh my God, it's good. 
It's delicious. It almost tastes, tastes too good to be good for you. But I asked Coach Drew, and he said, no, that's totally fine, as long as you're just using olive oil and, and you're not cooking them up in butter or canola oil or anything like that. And so, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty good diet. I like it. I'm starting to prefer it now. Like, even on a cheat day, like today, I had a hamburger. And it was a good burger, but it didn't really make me miss that kind of food. You know, like, usually when you get onto a diet, you, you don't like it. You know, you're like, oh, I hate this diet. I can't wait for my cheat day or, or my refeed day or whatever you want to call it. And I, I, I very much felt that way for the first couple of weeks. And then it got to the point to where now every cheat day I have, I'll get like a pizza or a burger. And I'm just kind of like, oh, that wasn't all that great, you know. And I'm, I look forward to my diet every day. So, yeah, and I said goodbye to beer. No beer. So that was another thing that was you know, getting at me. If when I drank beer, whenever I would, I would drink heavily. I would drink a lot of it. And that's full of carbs and all kind of horrible shit. But yeah. So anyway, though, anywho, y'all try purple sweet potatoes. I ain't never heard of that. Never even heard of that. Anyway. Yeah. I don't really, did you want to chat or anything or Oh, I got more work to do. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, I got I got a lot more readings to do apparently. Oh, I, I didn't send that last one out that I did. I got to send it out. Okay, I'll send it out. Okay, so yeah, I, I still got readings to do a bunch of them. We got flooded with readings. So, anyway, though, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. I'll probably see you tomorrow morning. Maybe I can't make any promises, but uh, anyway, I'll see y'all later. Thanks for tuning in and watching my interesting little little cooking with Rich episode. All right, y'all have a good one.